They seem to appear, again, in ways that our brains can accept. We hear stories about them appearing you know, like a giant bumblebee or a giant fish or a being with blue skin or pink skin or green skin. So the perception of the beings is directly related to the ability of the individual to perceive them. One in five Americans believe that humanity has been visited by alien beings from beyond the stars. Yet how can we be sure that all of these visitations originate from up there? From the thousands of reports from people who claim to have had direct contact with some kind of anomalous entity, what is the possibility that some of these close encounters are actually interactions with beings from other dimensions. When an interdimensional being enters our dimension, he falls under the laws of our three-dimensional reality. People report ghosts being seen when they're really these interdimensional beings. If interdimensional entities are interacting with humanity, what might be their intentions in doing so? energy healer and host of Quantum Effect, Randy Weitenheimer, has experience in interactions with other dimensions, combining his background in physics with his many years studying Chinese martial arts and Kundalini energy practices. Randy concludes that the nature of these interdimensional interactions is based on our own consciousness. Ghosts, spirit attachments, entities are independent, non-physical consciousness that are created. For example, let's say you want to connect with your spirit guide. You're meditating in zero reality, and you ask to have that spirit guide come forward. The being that comes forward is a real presence or information body in zero reality, and it is interpreted by yourself based on your knowledge of this physical world. It is real over there, but interpreted by you as a physical reality here and now. The theory of multiple parallel universes is a hotly debated topic within the realm of quantum physics. Everything from their mathematical explanation to the number of differing universes within the multiverse have been discussed. Yet the concept in and of itself is backed up with good physics. We've learned that string theory provides some exciting and beautiful possibilities for discovering a unified theory of everything. And string theory is what has opened the door to the multiverse idea in science. How did it do that? Well, it goes back to the issue that string theorists are grappling with, the challenge of identifying the exact geometry of the superstrings and extra dimensions hidden within our universe. They have many candidate shapes allowed by the math, over 10 to the power 500 possibilities, which is a massive number. String theorists have instead proposed that all of these possibilities are equally probable and likely exist somewhere within a multiverse, meaning there are at least 10 to the power 500 differently tuned universes out there in the multiverse, maybe even infinite numbers. If the existence of other dimensions is plausible, then wouldn't the idea of beings inhabiting that space be just as legitimate? So what are these beings? Do they have purely benevolent reasons for interacting with humanity? People who have claimed the ability to channel entities from other dimensions believe these beings are here to help guide us towards a positive life experience. Ariane came to me and said, we'd like for you to channel us directly. Mm -hmm. And because our information can be helpful to humanity at this time. And, and they even said, you know, humanity's on a, a trajectory. They're on a timeline that is now um, our information can be more helpful. We have moved beyond density and we bridge back and forth between non-physicality mm -hmm. and enough density to be able to communicate. From our standpoint, we are no longer in physical form. Mm -hmm. And even our densest nature does not hold physical separation. These beings are known in our realities like the masters 
and guides of every dimension. What they do is to resonate to the system of the matter all the process of creation to help us understand which ways we can take in order to be in the same level of vibration as them. So even the darkness ones and the light ones, they are leaving patterns to us so we could reach and understand how we can build a good reality and how we can transcend the reality we live in. The role that many of us in this collective have is energy balancing. Uh, so we are assigned, uh, several of us, to bring balance to certain points on the Earth and other planets. Uh, that is our role. Uh, there are many who will say that Earth is, mm, shall we say, turbulent or mm, 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 a little bit of a volcano in waiting. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not actually how we see what is taking place on Earth. You are coming to this culmination point in human history, which will take place between 2030 and 2050. And that will be when your whole world opens up as a human planet. If interdimensional entities exist that wish to help and give to humanity, is it possible that beings from other realms also wish to take from us? Randy Weitenheimer theorizes about the nature of such beings. These forms do not generally share or exist in our physical reality. Spirit attachments are in a different dimension that attach to you because we have energy and they need energy. This is the underlying basis for the interaction. They are not actually giving you information like the entities, but more taking of your energy. What about ghosts? Ghosts are not exactly non-physical. People that are alive might be sending information or energy to the person that has passed, and that might energize them to come into the physical form. It would seem the importance of inviting only those higher vibrational energies into your life cannot be overstated. When interactions with interdimensional beings occur, having control over that which positively enriches your life is a recommended approach. I teach that you should not put your energy towards non-physical beings and instead focus on internally knowing who you are and being yourself. This will keep you safe and create trust within yourself. How much influence might we assume is directed from interdimensional entities? And is there cause for concern from these interactions? Their ability to influence and affect us has a lot to do with what we believe their ability to affect us is. So if we believe they have an effect on us, then they can affect us. If we believe they don't have an effect on us, then they tend to not. So it's our thinking and our belief systems that actually uh, become our own reality when we're, we're visualized. More than anything else, yes. I think our experience tells us that most of them are beneficial. Most of them are basically trying to help and cooperate, and that 5% that just is trying to you know, cause trouble. If the majority of interdimensional beings are trying to guide us in positive ways, what is the message they are trying to deliver? These beings have a lot of information and a lot of access to information that they want to share, and they're encouraging us to understand how to access that information as well. So yeah, knowledge, information, truth. It would seem that the influence interdimensional beings have over humanity is dictated by our own perceptions and consciousness. If we are to resonate with the guidance from beings who wish to help, we must first recognize when we are being led astray by negative entities. Perhaps with a cautioned approach to further exploration and contact with interdimensional beings, we may learn the secrets of our own universe and beyond.